Hey everyone, how's it going? My name's Jeff, welcome to the channel. I hope everyone's doing well uh, during these times. I just wanted to get out and uh, share my RC collection with you guys. So, um, no particular order. Let's get to it. Um, first up, I'm going to bring these little guys out here. We got a 66 Mustang and a Skyline GTR 34. These are X mods. I've had these guys for, man, I don't know, 15 years or so. These are probably the first one, first RCs I bought since uh, when I moved to Arkansas. And I bought everything with it. Um, they have the underglow LED lights, um, the full custom suspension kits, um, and this is what the remote looks like if you guys don't know. Got this dealer here, you pop the antenna out, screw it in up top, antenna, old school, yeah, and crystal in the back. So you don't see many of these going around anymore, and if you do, you find the used ones, they are still going for a little bit more of the price of what they used to cost new, so collapsible. Fit it in your pocket or your backpack, whichever. Um, Let's see, what do we have next? Ooh, here's one. Not many people have this one, I don't think. This is a uh, collectible from Call of Duty Black Ops. This came with Call of Duty Black Ops, the video game. And it's the RCXD. And actually what this is, is a remote controlled car with an FPV camera on the front and a pack of C4 on the back. So as you're driving it into battle, and this is the controller, as you're driving it into battle, you see what's coming up, you see your enemy, detonate the C4. Well, obviously there's no real C4 on here, but uh, like I said, there's the FPB camera here, and up top of the controller, if you can see it, there's the screen, and you can see that in color. And night vision, I. I believe as well. I haven't used it in a while. Right now, it just sits on my shelf in my entertainment center. So um, yeah, we got this one, um, and that again came with Call of Duty Black Ops. Pretty cool. Um, what's next? Ooh, I think everybody knows what this one is. The Leo Toys A nine five nine B. This is a quick little guy. Um, this is the first of your toys I've purchased. I only ha I have two of them. I'll show you the other one here in a minute. Um, but technically, this will be the second one I bought. The first one I bought. That's what's left of it. I was at uh, my indoor track at my local hobby place, and this kid just drove straight through me. Ran it over and kept going. That's what's left. So hopefully what I'm going to do with this one is uh, get one of those all metal chassis. Put all the stuff that's in here in that one. We'll see. So that being said, this is the current one. I also bought one for my dad. Um, he's the one that actually showed me these. I didn't know these existed. And he showed it to me on eBay. So I got this one. I still need to get the 979V. I want to get that one, a truck version of this one. So this is a pretty quick little guy. Um, actually, my kids were out front, eight-year-old twins, uh, daughters. They were out front driving this around a couple days ago. So it's a, it's a good fun one. All right. And let's see. Now I know everybody knows what this one is. W.O. Toys 144001. Yeah, this one's still stock. I'd like to get another one so I can do uh, the whole brushless thing and see how fast and low I can get it going. Um, but right now, man, this thing's fun. I did a race day with this one at uh, the same track that the other one, the uh, other W.O. Toys got destroyed. Um, didn't do too well, you know, my first time racing and all, but. Heck, man, I, I had fun, smiles the whole time, and this thing handles like a dream. 
I recently, in all my RCs um, that I'm able to do this in, I just put 45 weight uh, shock oil in all of them. So I know the previous one I showed you, the, the 959B, I, we were driving that the other day, like I mentioned, and it handles totally different with the shock oil in it. There was pretty much nothing in there before, and I'm just getting into still learning about stuff. I've got to get some grease for the discs and everything and get those lubed up, and I'm sure I'll notice a big difference once I do that. So, uh, But yeah, 45-weight um, shock oil. It's still pretty stock. Still looking new. Look at that. Really no, no major scratches. A couple back here from when it bottomed out, coming off a... Uh, jumps off the curb but not having it anymore not with that 45 all right um where should we go next one of my first rcs when i say one of my first rcs this is it's it's this is one of the first three that i got and they, they all came about the same time this is a Red Cat Shockwave. It's a Nitro. One tenth scale Nitro RC. Um, fun, noise, smoke galore. I tell you, you can't drive this and not have a smile on your face. Um, these are not the stock tires they came with. Uh, they came with these, uh, just the regular buggy style tires. But uh, what I was doing, uh, I was just trying to do some speed runs, see if there was a difference between those and these. There really isn't. Still tops out at 30 miles an hour with uh, these tires. Doesn't matter if it's this one or those. Um, but the plan for this guy, I want to upgrade it. And what I've got for it, right now, there is a single speed transmission and clutch in here. I went and ordered... A two-speed transmission. I don't know if that's showing really well for you guys uh, and the part number and the clutch bell to go with it. And we'll see how fast that goes after I put that stuff in. Now, I did have another one of these buggies, the Tornado S30. Well, I kind of still do have it, but again, this is what's left of it. I crashed into my neighbor's mailbox across the street while doing speed runs. I lost it around a curve and smacked it all to bits. So right now, it's a parts car for the shockwave um, doesn't really make any sense rebuilding it because by the time I buy the parts to rebuild it, I would have bought a new one. So uh, luckily, I do still have this. So this one's done. Still have that. The plan after. I put the two speed on to the stock SH16 engine. I'm gonna take this one out. I'm gonna see if this will fit in here. If I get this in here, we'll see how fast that goes. So stay tuned, that'll be coming up. And this one still works, still turns. Um, I had the electric start. So it may not fit here. So what I'll have to do is order a pull start to get in here and get that going. So those were one of the two of the first three hobby grade RCs that I have purchased, and I know you're saying Nitro for your first go, yeah, the way I figure is I won't run out of juice, I can just put more gas and keep going, but the gas gets pricey after a while, so I just run them every now and then. 
this is one of the first three. So I don't remember which one I bought first. They all came around the same time. I think the shockwave and this came first. And the, no, no, no. I'm sorry. The tornado and this came first. And then the shockwave came after. So I would say tornado and this. This is the blackout XTE. This is the brushed version. Uh, Red Pet Blackout XTE brushed version. Um, no longer brushed. I didn't know how to drive these things, and I was landing on the full throttle, full power, all that, and yeah, you guys are cringing, so there went uh, spur gear, um, and the front diff, as you can tell, well, it, there you go, see, this? it's spinning faster than the other side, it's not doing what it's supposed to like this one so it's pretty much free spinning in the front so I need to get replace the front diff so what I'm going to do is replace both this with the hardened upgraded hardened diffs and like I said it was brush now it's brushless I believe I did say brush before I think if I didn't I'm saying it now it was brushed and this is the first uh brushless brush swap I have ever done um, so I, I went with the least expensive vehicle that I have um, as far as the hobby grade stuff which was this one and there's nothing wrong with it it's it's a great platform great rig I like it um, otherwise I wouldn't still have it um, I went ahead and put a Google RC ESC and uh, motor, brushless ESC and motor, um, rated 23S. This one's a 3900 kV motor, okay? Um, and I think the ESC is, what's, what's 3S? Uh, 60, 90, something like that, I don't know. But that's what's in here, it's waterproof. And since I put this thing in here, man, it gets it. And Every now and then the front will engage, depends on which non-strip gear it grabs onto. But uh, man, I tell you, it picks up and goes and acts totally different. I haven't driven it any of these cars since I put the 45 weight oil in it, except the 959B. But uh, on 3S, man, and that brushless motor picked it right up. I've got a metal spur gear, metal pinion gear. They don't make a metal spur gear specifically for this. Um, but this was recommended from a video I watched on YouTube. I don't remember who it was. Uh, props to you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much um, for the knowledge and um, and sharing what you know. Otherwise, this is still be collecting dust. Maybe. So that's my Red Cap Blackout XTE. All right. Where do we want to go next? Um, okay, here's a uh, here's a mention here. Joe, OMG RC. This was a shout out to you, buddy. All right, I remember you had that Lamborghini. You said your daughter got that one for you for Father's Day or something. I don't remember the occasion, but you said you got one from your daughter. Well, I got this sweet... Dodge Challenger um, for Christmas for my wife and kids one year. This is actually the Fast and Furious um, edition from Walmart. And I use this to harass the dog. <laughs> so she chases this thing around the house in the living room. Just, it's a cool slow-mo drifter, man. It's not a lot of speed. But it's cool. It sits up there in my entertainment center with um, with my X mods and um, near the RCXD. So um, yeah, this gets use. Unlike you, Joe, I took mine out the box. But uh, yeah, I had to, man. I couldn't resist. Anyway, this it's it's fun, especially for having to stay indoors. This is something you can use and just. Have tons of fun. Replace batteries. I think there's some double A's going here. I don't remember. I put batteries in it and they still work. So I, I haven't had to open it. 
But uh, yeah, cool fun. Thank the wife and kids for that. All right. Um, got a couple more. What do we want to go with? Trackless Rustler VXL two wheel drive. Rustless. Um, man, this would be the fourth RC that I got after the three red cats. I got this one for my birthday for my wife one year, uh, a few years ago, about three years ago or so, three, maybe four years. And man, this thing just gets it all day long. The only thing I don't like is it overheats a bit sometimes in the summer here in Arkansas, man, it gets really, really, really hot. So um, I ordered a fan, an ESC fan to put on here. Um, it should get here sometime this weekend. And I also ordered some uh, 3S 5200 milliamp hour batteries off of Amazon. So what I want to do is really get uh, a true top speed test on what it does. I know it pains 50 out the box. I have not put the optional um, gear swap that came with this in the box yet. This is still stock. The only thing different in it is the shock oil. It's going to be the fan that I'm going to put on there um, when it gets here and these wheels and tires. And these wheels and tires I saw, I forgot where I saw these, but I saw a video and these are the uh, J Concept. Let's see here. J Concept G Locks 2.8 yellow compound. Um, they're pretty grippy. I don't know if you can read that, but uh, that's what they are. And I ordered these not knowing that uh, these are these were specified for the front. I don't know if you see that there, but they were specified for the front. But I don't really think it makes a big difference. Um, the only difference that I noticed with it uh, is the offset. It's just a little bit wider in the back, and it does not cover the hub carrier as well. And, oh, I lied about uh, being stock. The hub carriers in the front and rear are not stock. Um, these are aluminum. I don't remember the brand. I, I think these may be Traxxas brand. And then there are, I have these blue ones in the front here. And these are not aluminum. These are plastic. Uh, I believe those are maybe RPM. I also have an RPM wheelie bar out back for Boy, it just doesn't want to stay planted. So, um, when I get those batteries and uh, that fan, we're gonna test this out, and you'll see a little bit of this coming up on the channel too. But uh, yeah, this thing, man, I have lots of fun with it. On the same day I raced the one four four zero zero one, I raced this one as well, and I got third place in the amateur division and that was my first day ever racing you know i i really didn't care if i won came placed or anything it just i, I had fun and i smiled the whole time doing it so um but yeah love this car and um we're gonna see how it does and last but not least Now, I've got to make some room for this one. This is the most recent acquisition to the garage here. Well, technically, it's the dining room table, but we can call it the garage. This is the Red Cat Racing 1 8 scale earthquake 3.5 nitro RC 
monster truck. I love it. 10 scale RC. Thanks, man. Uh, I saw you have one on your channel, and I was browsing them on eBay, and uh, you and Joe both know this story. I was just looking, and I uh, next thing I know, I woke up one morning, and it turned out I purchased it. Didn't expect that, but upside is I saved over $100 on it because it was one of those Amazon return deals, but I got it on eBay. It was in... It still is in pretty much brand new condition. When I took it out the box, all the packaging was there. I think may, there they may have been stickers or or uh, tools or something in the box that may have not have been in there. I don't know if that's included in the box or not, but what I got in the box was this. Uh, the transmitter or controller. The instruction manuals. Um, fine plug. And that's it. Pretty much what you need for it to run. All, the only other thing you needed really was uh, is your your glow plug igniter. And I meant to bring that with me and I forgot. Glow plug igniter, your tool starter kit. It comes with the glow plug igniter, uh, Phillips and flathead screwdriver for tuning, um, the wrench, glow plug wrench for you to remove your glow plug, and also... Uh, you can remove the tires with that and nitro fuel. This is what I use 20% uh, VP racing nitro fuel. Uh, but yeah, back to the main event. This thing is an animal. Two speed, fast shifts. You get that nice buzz wine, that smoke. Oh man, it's awesome. Um, uh, this really, I did not, I, I, I don't want this to be a basher. Um, this is going to be just cruising around, hanging out because there's some things I want to do with this and hopefully later on in the channel sometime, you'll see what this will come to be. Um, but I got plans for this guy. Uh, but like I said, it came as a return. Everything came perfectly with it. it. Came brand new, just like you see it. The only thing, I don't know if you can see that here, it was kind of scratched in the back there. I think somebody tried to start it or whatever, and they pushed down a little bit too hard on on the back, on the rear there. But other than that, the chassis or the, the yeah, the chassis, the belly is just pristine. get this body off here so you can guys can get a look at it now this body is it's pretty uh, pretty durable it's flexible yet rigid it I've rolled it once um, and no cracks no scratch well they're probably a little bit of hairline scratches or something but there's nothing major I just had to uh, open up the exhaust here a little bit because the pipe was touching it. I didn't want it to burn and look really bad, so I just trimmed that off a little bit. Um, that's pretty much the only modification that I've done to this thing. Uh, when I got it, I can tell somebody tried to start it. They probably did not know what they were doing. It's probably somebody got it for them or they got it for Christmas um, and didn't know how they work. I can tell there was fuel in the line. There was some orange. They tried some orange fuel. Like that, that might have been the O'Briens or something. I might have the name wrong, or maybe Sidewinder. Um, but there was some orange fuel in the line. You can just a couple bubbles or two. But other than that, it was clean. Some dust, some grass. But it, I can tell it was never run. Look at that. Spectacular. Gotta say. Don't tell the other cars, but this is one I think is my favorite. But uh, yeah, loving it. So, future here, 
you're gonna see a little bit of each of these things and you're gonna see some old things you're gonna see some new things uh, new to me new to everybody might be old to you I don't know but uh, I'm gonna try to keep it fresh I'm gonna try to keep the content coming this is the first of many for those of you who are watching and lasted this long thank you very much I appreciate it if you like what you saw please give a thumbs up a like and uh, if you want to see more subscribe um, tell your friends look out for Jeff um, and uh, I think that's where we're gonna leave it so I don't know how long this video is so far but once again if you've lasted this long thank you very much um, and just one thing I ask you know it doesn't matter if you like the RC Walmart Walmart RC stuff or if you like the budget bang good stuff or if you like uh, the high-end expensive like low C Arma and other other uh, brands it, it doesn't matter as long as it's fun for you puts a smile on your face and a smile on your heart dude that's all that matters don't don't let the haters hate on you man you like it because you like it all right keep the hobby alive thanks for watching see you next time jeff out